Hello everyone and welcome to another TDCS tutorial video. Today I will demonstrate to you how to use uh, the Soterix Medical 4x1 multi-channel stimulation device. The current setup that you see before you right now is that the Soterix Medical 4x1 unit is connected to the two-channel TDCS uh, stimulator also provided by Soterix Medical. The 4x1 unit is not a current generator however it functions as a passive splitter that cleverly splits the current from the two-channel stimulator into a five-channel stimulation device. So the uh, anode and cathode on the one on the uh, one by one uh, stimulator over here is connected through this cable to the input of the four by one unit and the output of the four by one is connected through another cable and is split it into five different channels each channel is connected uh, with a ring electrode and is inserted into the HD adapter also provided by uh, Soterix Medical. The configuration that you see in front of you right now is called a central anode where the red cable is connected to the anode and the black cable is connected to the cathode on the two channel uh, stimulator. Uh, so that makes the uh, the center channel on the 4x1 as anode while the remaining channels as uh, cathodes. There is another possible configuration is called a central cathode which uh, simply if you reverse the wires so that the black wire is connected to the anode and the red wire is connected to the cathode. So that will make the center channel on the 4x1 as cathode while the remaining channels as anodes. Um, just to uh, very quickly show you the interface of the 4x1, over here you can see there is a, a power switch. Uh, there is also a low battery indicator. There is an active or on indicator. You can see also there is a, a lead quality or a contact quality display. It displays the contact of each um, channel. This is also showing you the active channels. There's, uh, this switch can toggle between the, um, the channels and you can, uh, uh, when you push it, it toggles between, this, uh, toggles between the, uh, uh, the channels and when you push it again, it stops. Uh, there are two uh, modes on this unit. There is a scan and a pass mode. Uh, so uh, the scan mode uh, is used when you set up the, uh, the, the electrodes and once you reach the, uh, uh, the contact quality uh, that you desire, you switch to the pass mode and then you activate your uh, one by one stimulator. Uh, very briefly, I'm going to show you how to set up the ring electrode through the HD adapter. So the HD adapter looks like that and it has uh, a lock or a cover. So you uh, first make sure that the ring electrode sits inside the, um, uh, the HD adapter like this. and you lock it with the um, uh, uh, with the uh, with the cover on it. If it doesn't rotate, that means the um, the ring electrode is not inserted properly. So you have to take it out, and you have to make sure it's inserted properly. And you got to take a couple multiple trials before you get this uh, right. like that. So if it rotates then it's sitting properly. Now you take it out and you can use a 10 millimeter syringe loaded with uh, electro gel. You put it in and you squeeze the gel as you can see from the bottom here. Now I use a 10 millimeter um, uh, syringe because the tip of the syringe actually fits through the ring electrode so it pushes it into its location like that and once you have it sit properly you can fill in the rest with the electro gel 
make sure that the uh, ring electrode is totally immersed in the gel and then you lock it down with your uh, lock that is provided with the, uh, with the ring electrode. Um, you have to do this for each um, for each um, HD adapter and when, you, uh, when you're ready you just uh, start your stimulation. Thank you for watching the video and uh, stay tuned for additional uh, DDCS tutorials. Thank you.